Hello my magic signs and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am so freaking excited because I have a gym show haul to show you guys. So basically a year or so ago I made a lot of pre-orders on different gym shows and I've got a backlog of them that have arrived all at once to show you guys so I've had the best time ever the last few weeks because they've all been arriving slowly but now I am saturated in gym shows and I have to show you them all that's not the worst dilemma to be in life but that means I have to start filming immediately to get through them all to show you them all because I'm so excited I want to post them on my Instagram but obviously I can't until I show you guys so yeah I need to start the series I need to start showing you them all but I'm so excited because they are absolutely gorgeous so in this video I'm gonna start off with showing you two gym shows that I had on pre-order that I finally arrived and I also may have been a little bit naughty and purchased three new gym shows recently and I just can't help it. I love gym shows. I like spending my money, okay? I have a spending problem. I know. I'm fully aware. I'm trying to stop that. So no more talking. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with one because it matches my year's major clue. And um, it's new to this year. You guys have probably guessed. It is the Queen of Hearts and Alice gym show. This is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it's new to this year. And I had to have it because my biggest gym show collection is in fact Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if you can see behind me there, but I've got all my Alice gym shows. So I definitely needed to get this one and add it to my collection. And it is so gorgeous, like I said. It's absolutely huge. The colours are beautiful. All of Jim's Alice in Wonderland gym shows are always so colourful. And I love bright colours. That is my aesthetic. That is my vibe. So, of course, with the right colours, I had to have it. I'm not going to ramble on any further. I'm just going to give you guys a close-up and show you all of the beautiful details. So, here is the Alice and the Queen. Absolutely gorgeous. We're going to start at the base, as always. So, you have this gorgeous black and red colour. The Queen of Hearts is iconic colours. You've got some red hearts, which is super cute. Perfect for the Queen of Hearts. And, of course, you've got Jim Shaw's iconic swirls here in black. Leading up to the Queen of Hearts, she is absolutely gorgeous. I think the details on her dress are absolutely phenomenal. I love all the colours. You've got the bright yellow and the black. And then you've got the hearts, of course, in a cream colour and a red. Leading up to cream and black. And she's posing there. And then you've got her white collar, her gold crown, her tiny gold crown. It always makes me hysterical how tiny her crown is. But, like, a massive personality and the tiniest crown. She looks quite happy in this, which I like. So, I think she likes Alice at this point because Alice is curtsying to her and, like, yes, your majesty. And the Queen of Hearts is all about that. She's like, mm-hmm, about to me. So, I think this is a scene where she actually likes her before she wants to off with her head her. Is off with her head her. No. Before she wants to chop Alice's head off, off with her head. Before that happens, this is when she likes her. And now I'm going to show you Alice. So here is Alice. She looks very prim and proper, very ladylike. You've got her black little shoes there, so cute. Her white tights and then her white apron with this incredible detail here. She is holding a teacup, which is perfect. Her baby blue dress, so pretty. Her blonde hair, her black iconic bow. And she looks so beautiful. So I love Alice. And then here's the back just to show you guys. Like I said, it is absolutely massive and so gorgeous. I love the bright, bold colours. Again, the base is stunning with the black gym show swirls, the red hats, and this incredible detail on the back of the Queen of Hearts. So gorgeous. So that was the first gym show. That was my Alice and the Queen of Hearts. So let's move on to the next gym show. And this next one is absolutely incredible. It is divine. It is stunning. Honestly, it's probably one of my favourites. Here is the next one. And like I said, this is absolutely incredible and definitely one of my favourites. I think it is beautiful. So as you can see, it is the Evil Queen who I really like at the moment. I love the villains, as you guys know. But the Evil Queen hasn't been like one of my top villains. But lately, she is making her way into my top five. I'm upset obsessed with the evil queen so you got the evil queen and then of course you've got snow white who was also growing on me i never used to be a big snow white fan but i've met her a couple of times in the park and every time that i do she is honestly the sweetest soul so she's really growing on me so once again i'm going to give you guys a close-up and i will show you all of the incredible details here is the evil queen and snow white close-up it is absolutely incredible again we are going to start the base the base is absolutely phenomenal it's got so many different symbols that represent snow white so you have the crown of course the evil queen you have the iconic purple gym show swirls the signature of gym show and you also have the poison apple which i love the iconic poisonous apple perfect and it's so colorful such a beautiful base and then moving up from the base you can see snow white's super cute shoes i love that they included this look at her little shoes peeping through adorable the yellow they got a little bow in them so cute and then you've even got snow's petticoat i don't know if you guys can see that but it's right here you've got a petticoat and i think that is such an adorable touch 
And then on her waist, you've got some more incredible details. You've got iconic Gymshaw swirls. And then you've got a blue part of her dress with the red marks on her sleeves. So cute, her puffed up sleeves. You've got her white collar, her iconic red bow, absolutely stunning. Her black hair and then her beautiful face. She looks so pretty. Look at her eye colour. I love her eye colour. It's almost like orangey. Yeah, it is, which I love. I, I don't know why I like that because obviously her eyes aren't orange in the film. That is a stunning touch by Jim. I like that. So she's got orange eyes, rosy cheeks. Absolutely gorgeous. She looks so feminine and pretty. And then moving on to my favourite part of this gym show, you know I love the villains. It is the incredible evil queen and she looks terrifying. Look at that glare, that is a bitch you don't want to mess with, I adore her. The evil queen is holding out her dress, which I love, and you've got the iconic gym show swirls all over her dress. On the bottom here, you've got a black trim on her cape, which I love, and then you have a rope going around from her waist, all of the incredible details. And then moving up, you have the iconic red apple. I'm so glad that Jim put the apple on there because, like I said, it is definitely iconic. The poisonous apple when she's holding it, and then you have her brooch there, her orange brooch, her white collar, and then that bitch you don't want to mess with face, look at that glare, her eyebrows, her eyes, she looks terrifying actually, but still so stunning. I have a massive girl crush on the Evil Queen, I think she is stunning like I said, and her red lip, and then you have her iconic gold crown. So that is absolutely gorgeous and so colourful, and I'll also quickly show you the back in case you guys wanted to see. Here's the back, you have that gorgeous base again with the colourful Jumshaw swirls, and the crown and the poison apple, and then the back of her cape, which looks phenomenal. Their white collars, the back of Snow's dress, her petticoat sticking out. So beautiful and so colourful. So that is my Evil Queen and my Snow White. Absolutely gorgeous. And also guys, I've just completely forgotten that I haven't been giving you the names. I apologise. So the name on this one is Upside Down. How many times do I do that? And I've been collecting gym shows for how long? The name is Evil and Innocence. I love that. Evil and Innocence. And it's actually got it in French underneath, which I don't think they've always done that, but it is here. So I'm going to give a whirl of this. Please don't be offended, guys, because I cannot speak French, so I'm probably going to butcher this. But Malice en Candir. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Malice et Candir, I think. But yeah, that's the name in French and English. The next three gym shows that I have to show you guys kind of go together. It's kind of a collection, a dangerous start to a new collection. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm starting to love Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, everything about that movie. I think it is beautiful. And a new obsession has started, and that is the dwarfs. Why did I not realise before how cute the dwarfs are? So basically, I have seen that there are like three different collections of the Seven Dwarfs in gym show form. So I have fallen in love with the musical collection, I don't actually know what it's called. If I can find out the name of that collection, I will leave it here. They're all retired now, so some of them are really expensive, and I really want the grumpy one where he's on the piano, and that goes for a lot of money, so I don't know how I'm going to get that one. But yeah, I'm starting to collect that musical dwarf collection, and I have three to show you today, three to start off my collection. I've got them off eBay for reasonable prices. I'm just very excited to show you my dwarfs, the start to my dwarf collection. So here we go. So the first dwarf that I have to show you guys, the one that started it all for this collection, that's actually perfect because isn't that how, yeah, isn't that what Snow White's known for is the one that started all. So the one that started all, the one that started my dwarf collection is my personal favourite dwarf because he is so cute and so shy and so bashful. It is, you guessed it, Bashful the Dwarf and I adore Bashful. He is definitely my favourite dwarf like I mentioned. He's just so sweet and the fact that he blushes and he gets those rosy cheeks and he just melts all the time. I think he's adorable. I just love him. So when I saw him going for a really inexpensive price on eBay, I decided, you know what, I'm not even going to think twice about it. I'm going to snatch him up because he is my favourite dwarf and I haven't got anything bashful in my collection. So I'm very glad that I got this little guy. He is so cute. But also, this little guy is to blame for starting this massive dwarf collection because now I want to get them all. So no more talking. I'm going to give you guys a close-up of Bashful. Yes, Bashful, get that ring light -like glow. Work it. <laughs> he looks so cute. So we're going to start at the base. I love the bases on these dwarfs because I think they're really cute and colourful. I love the bold colours. And of course, you've got the iconic Jumshaw swirls there on the base. Moving up, you've got his super cute yellow feet. He is holding the... This is... 
this is where I struggle. He is holding the, what is this instrument? I don't know instruments. He's holding his instrument and uh, it's so cute. And then he's got his beard, of course, his iconic, beautiful, long beard, his adorable green hat. And what I love is that the Gymshaw iconic swirls are all over his hat, such a nice touch. His super cute eyebrows, his adorable eyes, his rosy cheeks, cause of course he's blushing. And finally that super cute nose, boop. That nose is adorable. And here's the back of Bashful. Again, the Gymshaw swirls going all over his hat, his outfit, the back of his belt, his super cute orange trousers, his yellow shoes. So cute. So that is Bashful, the one that started my Dwarf collection and I totally forgive him because he is just so precious. Okay guys, so the next Dwarf that I have to show you is of course Doc. Now, Doc is iconic. I feel like he is the leader of the group so we have so much love and appreciation for Doc. And this one is just so cute. I love Doc. He's always happy, always positive and he's always in control and it's so cute this one because he's actually clapping along to the music in the movie in the iconic scene so this is precious again no more talking let me give you guys a close-up of doc here is doc he is so cute again you have that colorful gym show base with the iconic swirls so beautiful his shoes his brown trouser he has his belt the gym show swirls going all around his jacket there some buttons, he's clapping, happily enjoying the music, his iconic glasses, his super cute eyes, his hat has got a beautiful detail on there, I don't know if you can see that, beautiful detail, his rosy cheeks, his nose, boop, so precious, and of course his beard. Here's the back of Doc, so his hat's simple on the back, but look at the incredible Gymshaw swirls going all around his jacket there, adorable, the back of his belt and a colourful base here, so cute. So that is Doc, adorable. And the next dwarf and the final dwarf that I have in my dwarf collection was actually a gift from my mother. So one night my mother was scrolling on eBay, as we do for gym shows, and she really wanted to get the sleepy gym show, but he was in a set, it was sleepy and him. So she already had this dwarf in her collection, so she decided to get him anyway. And instead of just keeping sleepy and selling on happy here, she decided to give it to me, which is so sweet, and she didn't want any money for it. My mother kindly gifted it to me, and I am so happy because he's another one to add to my collection and I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting through the seven dwarfs that I need. And in case I didn't mention, this is Happy. How could you not tell? Look at that grin. He is very happy and it's so cute and he's got his trumpet. I actually know this instrument. It's a trumpet. Um, <laughs> So cute. So again, I'm going to give you guys a close-up and I'm going to show you him in close detail. So here is Happy. He looks so cute and you guessed it. He looks very happy. He is just adorable. So again, you've got that colourful base there, so beautiful with the gym show iconic swirls, his yellow shoes, his trousers, and his trousers are very funky because he's got the iconic gym show swirls going on there. I think the patchwork on the sleeve is a very nice touch. And then you've got his beard and his super cute face. And like I said, he looks very happy. His yellow hat, absolutely adorable. And then you've got a gym show design. And you've got a gym show design on his hat there. Stunning his trumpet. I just love his funky trousers. I think that is so cute. And then here's the back in case you guys wanted to see. Again, the back of his trousers, the back of his jacket, his hat, the colourful base. Absolutely adorable. So that is happy and he makes me very happy. And also guys, I forgot to give you the names again. What am I like? So his name is Cheerful Note, which I think is so cute. So that's Cheerful Note for happy. And then for Doc, he is called clap along so clap along with doc bashful's name is okay this is a struggle affable accordionist i think i said that right and also i forgot to give you the alice and the queen name that one is called chaos and curiosity that is such a perfect alice in wonderland name i think that suits the gym show perfectly chaos and curiosity love that so that was the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you are new here then please do like this video and consider subscribing because that will help me a lot and i'd be ever so appreciative and if you are returning thank you so much you guys know that i love you i hope you're all happy i hope you're all safe and of course stay magical bye guys i was trying not to laugh